Speaking of coaches that might be on their way out, let's talk about Washington. Washington has suspended Jimmy Lake for the Arizona State game. He came out and issued an apology for quote-unquote striking a player. Uh, We talked about the absurdity of this on the show on Sunday, on the reaction show. But this is comical, to say the least. They did go ahead and fire the offensive coordinator, John Donovan, which I've been talking about since uh, early, early in the season uh, because of just how predictable this offense was, not only during the COVID-shortened season, but early in this season. The offense could do nothing. I mean, they they were just terrible. Uh, But we already knew what John Donovan was. It was a terrible, terrible hire because he was not good at Penn State. Uh, As soon as they fired John Donovan at Penn State, that's when James Franklin won his Big Ten title. Like He had John Donovan before, and then he brought in Joe Moorhead and changed the whole trajectory of the program. I'm, I'm curious your thoughts here, uh, because the statement that came out from Washington about the suspension really read like it was written by lawyers, is what it looked like. And it looked like it was, hey, we are trying our hardest to figure out a way to get this guy out of here because the job may be too big for him. Uh, he may he may be great, and he he was great as a defensive coordinator and really as a recruiter. But as you have said on this show many, many times, it's uh, the Peter Principle, right? You can be elevated and promoted to a level of failure. And that may be what's going on with Jimmy Lake. He just may not be able to handle how big the job is. I want to know what you think about the suspension and – and really about his job status overall. So I think the suspension is bullshit. You know that. Yes. Strike, quote unquote, using the word striking a kid infuriates me. He popped the kid on it. Are we going to, hang on, are we going to fire or suspend every coach that does that to a child when they celebrate a touchdown? How many people <laughs> strike kids on the head while they're wearing their helmet during a game? How many times has that happened? Because he was getting yelled at when he did it. That now it's a suspendable offense. It's an offense that we suspend the guy. Are you kidding me? What world are we living in, Gary? We are living in a world where this this coach is losing football games, and Washington has no idea what to do with it. If you want to fire him because he's bad at his job, which he is bad at his job, and I think he has earned the right to be fired. It has nothing to do with him, quote, unquote, striking a child. A, that child he struck was like 6'8", 380, all right? It could beat the hell out of Jimmy Lake if at any point in time he felt his life was in danger. Yes. Yes. I, I think everybody that pays attention to football that ever played football would understand that this was a coaching method. and We've collectively lost our minds. Yes. But. I think his job is in jeopardy because I think he's really bad at coaching. I think he's really, really bad at leading an organization. I don't know how good he is at the X's and O's on the defensive side of the ball, but I know one thing's for damn sure. This guy is not a leader of men. No. No, he is not. Uh, It's it's insane to think about because he was basically hand-chosen. He was the next guy behind Chris Peterson. He was handed the job much the same way that Lincoln Riley was handed the job much the same way that Ryan Day was handed the job at Ohio State. But this one did not turn out. It did not turn out at all. You remember in the offseason, he would wear hats that said, run the damn ball. Like, he just does not understand modern football. And and it was very prevalent. Very You could tell it. You could absolutely tell there, it. Hang on. There's, 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 no, there's no X's and O's or scheming involved that causes you to get Kind of your ass beat by Montana, all right? That is, that is, he he did not know how to prepare a football team. He did not know how to run practices in two days. That is the first game of the season where you've got a month to prepare for your opponent, all right? And it's not that Montana's bad. They've actually been very good this year. However, that is an FCS school. They're not school. close to being able to hang with that team. Exactly. Exactly. Like, if you were Washington, you should have beaten that team by three touchdowns. It should never have been in doubt. And instead, uh, of course, they take an L, and they are on the losing side much more than they are the winning side this season. And it just doesn't look like he knows what he's doing. So with that said, you know. But, we'll... but, I, but I think the suspension's bullshit. 
I'd like to be yes. on record with that. I'll defend the guy for that. And and I, a, I, I will tell you, I don't know that there's anything you could have done to get me to apologize for that. That's I think a, he's a better man than me for exactly. that. Exactly. I don't know that if I was if I was Jimmy Lake, I don't know that I would have apologized. I I might have had a conversation with the kid. I not not might have. I would have. I would have let him know. Hey, man. But I would do the same thing if I didn't put my hands on him. But if somebody made a mistake on the field and I publicly on the sidelines jumped their ass, chewed their butt out. I, at some point in time when that game is over with, I'm going to approach that kid. I'm going to approach that person and say, hey, man, things got heated. You screwed up. I lost my cool a little bit. I'm just trying to make you better. I love you. I want us to be better. And I need to know that we're good. Because that's how you have a relationship. I do the same thing with my children. I get in that butt when they screw up. And then I go to them and I let them know, you know, I love you, right? And, and, and I need you to make sure that we don't make these mistakes. And that's when, I, that's when the teaching happens, all right? It's after the yelling and the taking of the iPad and the whatever you do to discipline, however you discipline, right? Like, yeah. it, 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 there's a follow-up behind the discipline. That's the only person that needed a conversation. That's it. That's the list. Nobody else, if the athletic director walked in, I would bring that kid in and I would say, hey, we good? Yeah. Hey, Frank, get the hell out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, I think that's Gary, the easy I way to go about it. I'm driving down the road right now. I have just watched the people in front of me throw seven different pieces of paper out the window as we're driving. What? Who in the hell litters still today? <laughs> who, who is littering right now? The and only it's not, it's not seven at one time. It's not like a handful of stuff. It is driving, 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 throw something out. Driving, driving, throw something out. Driving, driving, throw something out. What is wrong with these people? They just turned around. So I was about to take my phone, take a picture of that license plate, <laughs> and then uh, figure out how I was going to absolve this situation. I'm I'm curious. It was it coming out of the driver's side, like out of the driver's window? Yes. No. The, the, the driver looks to be the only person in the car. How interesting. I would have said, you know, maybe children, but... No, no, this is a grown-ass woman. Oh, my God. This is a lady. I'm, 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 I'm sure. I'm assuming her gender. She looked in the female perspective, okay? <laughs> I, I Listen, if this was back in the day where I had the old piece of shit pickup truck, I might have gotten loose, got up under her, and got her into a wall here. <laughs> not enough to do, not enough like to hurt anybody, but like, hey, we're both calling our insurance company, and when the police show up, I'm going to show them why I did it. And then I'll just take my ticket and let my insurance company take care of it. There you go. There you go. I haven't seen that in, in quite some time. I haven't seen anybody do that. Before. This is blatant, too. Just crazy. <laughs> just throwing shit out the window. Oh, my God. What's wrong with people? Sorry. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm so glad that you were driving to give us that update, though. Oh, my God. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.